As thousands of kids around North Dakota head back to class this week, safety experts are reminding everybody, whether you're a student or a parent, to be extra cautious um, when you're driving close to a school. Experts say this is a dangerous time of year when with many new drivers on the road and it's also increasing the number of, of people out walking and riding bikes. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration says that around 64 percent of child pedestrian deaths in 2021 happened between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. That's why experts say it's important to expect the unexpected, especially in school zones. They need to plan in advance to see kids early in the morning and mid-afternoon, times when they probably haven't seen them for the past uh, couple of months. Uh, and, and be prepared for the unexpected. Kids are excited to get back to school. They're excited to see their kids. Or they may be distracted by a cell phone or something else. Using electronic devices while driving is against the law in North Dakota, but a study shows 30% of North Dakotans admit to being on a phone while driving in a school zone. Safety experts also say a common law that's broken throughout the school year is not following the school zone speed limit. One study shows 42% of North Dakota drivers admitted to speeding in an active school zone, and safety experts say 10 miles an hour can be the difference between life and death of a student. Well, just a ch change in uh, speeds of just a few miles per hour can uh, result in either an injury or, or a fatality. And that's why we have slower uh, speed limits in school zones, is to provide a little bit of a uh, measure of safety in those areas, not only to you know children, uh, but so the cars can stop quicker if something unexpected happens. Another reminder safety experts have for drivers is to make sure to come to a complete stop behind a school bus when you see the retractable stop sign out and the lights are flashing.